Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am actually doing a cross country from Grand Junction to Canyonlands, which is just outside of Moab, and then to Green River and back to Grand Junction. So I've got a little bit of flying ahead of me. I have two cameras on board today, which is the GoPro 7, which you are seeing right now. And that will be attached to the wing and then a GoPro 3 Hero inside getting the cockpit audio and like ATC and myself talking. So I am pretty excited. I just finished doing the pre-flight, which is obviously the airplane pre-flight and also like the weather briefing and airports and make sure there's no notums or anything like that but uh, today is absolutely beautiful out so I'm really really excited to get this flight going not a whole lot of wind it might pick up here in the afternoon which is pretty typical and of course typical crosswinds across all of the airports which is completely fine it's only a couple knots so um, should be a good flight so let's get this day rolling got my four flight up and going you can see my route right here I have like little waypoints along the way just to kind of stretch out the trip and make it a little bit longer there's Canyonlands right there and Green River is right over here so um, I'm gonna put this in the nav log and then I already have my weather briefing and everything on this but um, should be good to go and start up here in a second <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse edit over to Canyonlands. Unfortunately, my GoPro Hero 3 that was recording the ATC um, needed to be reformatted so the SD card wasn't recording anything. So I just went ahead and did that now. So from Canyonlands to Green River back to Junction will be the ATC audio. So sorry about that, but it wasn't too big of a deal because um, nothing special was going on. It was a little busy outside of Grand Junction, but uh, we'll go ahead and get the ATC running right now. Get this back up on the wing and get to Green River. So let's do it. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the radios. Finally got that going. Hopefully this GoPro works out for me. I'm probably going to charge it a little bit in Green River and shut down there just for a little bit. Okay, we got full fuel. Yeah, so I'm going to lean the mixture just for a little bit while I get set. We'll go ahead and throw on the ATIS here. Automated weather observation 1720 Zulu. Wind 100 at 08. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 14 Celsius. Dew point 04 Celsius. Altimeter 303 Niner. Okay, land traffic. Let's meet 5 Victor Alpha taking uh, 2 1 and it will be a um, departure towards Green River right turn out. Okay, final is clear. Runway is clear. And just like that, we are rolling. Let's rip. Okay, you gotta keep an eye out for everyone because here at Moab, everyone just kind of does their own thing. It's kind of sketchy. Um, people land on three. Um, take off on 2-1. Just got 
they'd be on the lookout all the time. Canyonland traffic, let's come 5 Victor Alpha over the power line for departure towards Green River, Canyonland. We'll pull the power back to 2000 here. Bit nice and slow. Rev up. And here we go, we'll off the Green River. Okay, we're coming up here on Green River pretty shortly. Uh, fun little fact, the uh, Arby's and, and the Conoco that the Flying Cowboys flew in, um, a pretty famous video out there on YouTube with Trent Palmer and all those boys, um, was actually here outside of Green River, was the Arby's and Conoco. Obviously today I will not be doing that because you land on like a little road or out in the desert. Um, but uh, kind of a little fun fact for you, that's, uh, that's actually the Arby's and Conoco. Green River traffic, let's go meet 5 Victor Alpha, about five miles to the southeast, gonna cross over the field and enter a left downwind for 3-1, Green River. Hey, Green River traffic, you got a green and white Cessna 172, we're turning left crosswind to a left downwind now for 1-3, uh, it'll be a touch and go, Green River. Roger, I'll be looking for you guys. Yeah, no, so I'll keep an eye. Is the wind favoring 1-3? Uh, just barely, just barely. Okay, then I'm going to enter a uh, left downwind for 1-3, and I'll uh, keep an eye out for you. Sounds good. We'll see ya. I got you inside. I'll be number two uh, behind you for Green River. Okay, understood. We're uh, just about midfield left downwind now. We'll be making a short approach for this one. Gotcha. Thanks. Okay, got the 140 in sight. Uh, got to be completely on my game for Green River just because um, it's kind of a narrow runway. Let's see where this guy went. Oh, there I got him. Okay, I'm gonna kind of have a high and wide downwind here just to give this guy Green River traffic. Green and white, 172, uh, making left traffic. We're turning left face on to uh the face in final, one three full stop. Needs touchdown. Nice landing. Hopefully, blow this thing down. Okay, so we got gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, carpet not needed. We are cruising. Uh, green and white test is gonna make it to uh, touch and go. We're on the roll. One three. Green River traffic, let's commit 5 Victor Alpha, turning left base for 1-3. Keep this thing right at 70. Green River traffic, let's commit 5 Victor Alpha, base to final for 1-3, Green River. Hey, Green River traffic, you got a green and white, Cessna 172, we're left crosswind to a left downwind, 1-3, Green River. There's 1-3, keep this nice and centered on the runway. Wasn't too bad of a landing. Oh, beautiful 180 sitting here. Green River traffic, let's go meet 5 Victor Alpha. Clear the runway. Well, I think this is the most busy I've ever seen Green River. We got a pretty sweet 185 back there and a couple of light sport guys, or whatever these things are called, like ultralights or something like that. You would definitely not catch me one of those, a little too sketchy for me, but uh, normally this place is dead. And I guess because it's been raining here, um, everyone's out flying, so it is pretty busy today. Green River Town is just right over there. Canyon Lands is back that way. 
and uh, we're gonna kind of scoot along that way, take it pretty slow, get some time in, uh, back towards Grand Junction. Didn't know they just take off on the damn taxiway. <laughs> okay, that is super, super sketchy, but awesome. At least they got a big parachute kind of deal. At least you can probably see them up in there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, got more guys firing up over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, green. Oh, I'm definitely getting this guy on footage. What's he doing? Just messing around? That is pretty cool, I will say. the radios. Got the come all fired up. Take a look at my four flight, get my heading for my first waypoint, which is Thompson Springs, which is basically just right along the highway at uh, 7 8. That going after start, avionics on, radio set. Transponders on standby for right now, circuit breakers. Are all in, fuel's on, running a left tank for a little while, headsets on, and we'll do a brake check right before we go. Green River traffic, let's go meet 5 Victor Alpha, taking 1-3, it'll be a straight out departure, Green River. Okay, final is clear, runway is clear, gotta keep an eye on those powered parachutes. Other than that, we are good to go. Pepperoni, pepperoni, keep this bad boy on center line. Good old less comes hard to... Hard to keep straight, a lot of rudder control. Okay, that looks like 3-1 to me. Gotta keep an eye on all the birds. And these power glider, power parachute things. Everything seems to be good to go. Instrument's good. Roll. on the way back. Uh, I gotta stay clear of the Green River Tower over there. This thing's just going up like a bullet. There's our 5500. We'll slow this thing down and make our way back to Grand Junction. Alright, about halfway between um, Green River and Thompson Springs. So That's my next checkpoint. I'm just following I-70 right now. Barely passing the cars. <laughs> Alright, we are officially in the valley. We're coming up on Fruta. This is right when I normally call Tower, just north of Fruta, so I'll call any second here. And uh, hopefully they just put us in for a straight in uh, for 1 1. Grand Junction Tower, let's come 85 Victor Alpha, just north of Fruta at 6000, inbound for landing with information, Mike. Number 85 Victor Alpha, Grand Junction Tower, make straight in on 1 1 report, 3 miles. Straight in for 1-1 one, one and uh, we'll report 3 miles for 85 Victor Alpha. There we go. We'll go ahead and start cutting over. Go straight in for 1-1, uh, one, one, which is what I like to see. Grand Junction Tower, let's come 85 Victor Alpha, 3 mile final for 1-1. One, one. Number 5 Victor Alpha, runway 1-1, one, one, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 1185 Victor Alpha. Okay, so we are clear to land, and that Eventually. is. Not sure what he said there. Yeah, they're just they're just going to uh, replace the, the runway that we have. Uh, the, the current runway is going to be turned into a taxiway, and the uh, the other runway is going to be uh, they're going to totally grade it so there's no slope. Oh wow, that's what they're doing. Yeah, the FAA. It's. I, I think it's like just under standards for the the new FAA standards. So they're uh, just taking it, uh, taking it over about 600 feet and flattening it. Okay. 
Instruments looking good, temps looking good. Instruments looking? Instruments looking. What am I talking about? Those look good. Okay, temps look good. Got gas, undercarriage, mixture prop, don't have half of those. Carb heat, not needed. So, uh... We're coming in here, got a little bit of a right crosswind. Negative, you can expect no delay at the end. Crosswind. Victor Alpha, give way to the Embraer on uh, Alpha Tax to Park Monogram Point 7. We'll give way to the regional and uh, Monogram Point 7, A5 Victor Alpha. Well, there it is, boys. Little crosswind landing, no big deal. Gotta love those ones, we always keep you on edge. And uh, we are back in Grand Junction.